the vast majority of this material is too obscene to show to you. Wake up. We got a movie to shoot today. Are you... are you here? Yeah. Are you calling me from your bedroom? Yeah. Why not just walk the five feet over to my bedroom? Why walk five feet when I can just push a button on my phone? Oh, yeah, of course. How, how silly of me. Alright, I'll be ready in a few. Yep. So I called everyone. They said they're on their way. Good, good. How long did Mom and Dad say they're going to be in Lake Titicaca? Uh, I believe they said they're going to be there about a month. Oh, that's plenty of time. Yeah, should be. I had this weird dream last night about the shoot today. Yeah? What happened? Well... Hey, everybody! Hey! hey! Are we ready to shoot a movie today? Yeah! yeah! Yeah, that's pretty unrealistic. Yeah, pretty much. The crew would never be that happy to see you. Exactly. And did you see how hard they were working, too? <laughs> yeah, only in a dream, right? Yeah, well, we should be alright today as long as the camera doesn't go up my nose. Shit. I had a camera in my brain. Do you have any idea how painful that is? No. Oh. Well, to be perfectly honest, neither do I. I think the camera might have knocked out some brain circuitry in there. But me, I'm fine. Oh, movie big the good shoot we do? Oh, up I get. Oh, oh, Dylan's here. Dylan, my main man. Best sound man in the whole garage. What you got there? Just got a new shotgun mic. It's super sensitive and it was super expensive. I'll bet it was. Don't touch the tip. 
All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Hey, John. Yeah. The shotgun mic we've got is super duper sensitive. So did you remember to unplug the refrigerator? Yeah. Did you remember to put a note on it so we remember to plug it back in later? Yeah. Is it legible? Of course. Is it in English? I'm just... Vinny, my main man, what's up? How's it going, Les? It's going good. How are the lights doing today? I think some of my best work, man. All right. That is what I like to hear. All right, everyone. I think we're ready to... Oh, I stopped my toe in the vacuum. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn vacuum. Okay. Are we ready? Hang on. I'm picking up something weird. Is it the fridge? John! No, it's not the fridge. It sounds like someone's outside whistling Dixie. Here. Excuse me, sir. Why are you whistling Dixie on my front lawn? Well, uh, technically, sir, and I'm on the sidewalk. I'm not on your front lawn. The sidewalk here is public property, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, so if here is where I choose to stand while I whistle a ballad to my home, well, take none of your concern. Actually, it is. Uh, you see, we're trying to shoot a movie in my house, and uh, our, uh, our microphone is picking up your whistling. Mmm, well, well, of course, of course, I guess I could walk up the street away, so you can go ahead and make your moving pictures. Of course, that's not where I wish I was. Do you know where I wish I was? Um, Dixie. Bingo. Well, that was insane, but whatever, I took care of it. Wait. Oh, what, is he now, is he back? I don't know if it's him, but someone's outside whistling the theme to M.A.S.H. What? You know, M.A.S.H. It was a TV show, it was about- Yeah, I know what it was about. I'm familiar with M.A.S.H. Damn it! What the hell? Oh, hey there, Klinger. I hope Radar and Hawkeye show up soon. Why are you whistling the theme to M.A.S.H. on the front lawn? Because I have to, sir. This house's address is 4077, sir. No, it isn't. This house is 16632. That has literally none of the same numbers. Really? Well, hmm. I don't know why I'm here then. Then get the hell out of here. Alrighty then. I'll see you around. Suicide is painless. I'm sure it is! Bye! Well, that was completely insane. It just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Um... What? Uh, it's... What? What, what could it possibly be now? Uh... Damn it! Oh, uptown girl! Whoa! You better run! What the hell? Is the circus in town or something? Hey, Pagliacci! Go around! Oh, hey, Allie. God, I thought we'd never finish today. You okay? I don't know, I guess I'm just frustrated. It's like I put up all these shorts online and nobody is watching them. I watch them. You know what I mean. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. It seems like the only movies on here that get any hits are the incredibly stupid ones. Like this one. It's just a video of a dog farting for like three minutes straight. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's funny. You're not helping. I don't know. Maybe you should make a video about a dog farting or something. You know I think I'm going to pass on that. Oh, speaking of god-awful crap, the shittiest show on television is coming on right now. God, I hate this show. Oh, come on, you know you love it. Oh, God. Last week he had on that wrestler who's an actor now. He had that guy from that new Michael Bay movie. You know how we all love Michael Bay. You want me to vomit, don't you? You get some kind of sick pleasure from it. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. You see, that's the thing. It really is. This guy seems to pick his guests from stuff they couldn't process at the sewage treatment plant. <laughs> Seriously! I'll bet they have toy blocks in the green room for the guests to play with. Well, I've had enough of this jackass. I'm going to bed. Yeah, I should probably go to bed too. Night, Allie. Good night, Laz. Okay, look. I can understand you wanting your character to stand out on screen. But we've already shot a ton of footage of your character, so please take off the fake mustache. Oh, all right. So, no mustaches then? No! No mustaches! I can't even imagine what part of your brain would have told you that that was a good idea! And I'm stuck in the middle with you. Ow, my ear. Oh, are we going? Alright. Did you talk to them about the mustaches? I did! I can't even believe they're trying to pull that crap. I know, it'll screw up the continuity. Exactly! What did they say? They seem to understand. Yeah, it can be difficult keeping the continuity on a low budget film. You gotta be very careful. You don't want to break the fourth wall. Uh, sorry, Laz. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to be needing it. Well, we are. It's a very important wall. Hey, Laz! Oh, jeez. How did you work? I have a great idea how your movie should end. Okay, what? I come in. And I'm like their long lost cousin or something like that. And then at the very end, it turns out we're all secretly giant robots. You know, John, it's actually not up to me. It's up to Oscar. Oscar. Oscar? Do you think that's how we should end the movie? No, Lash. I don't like that idea at all. It's poopy and it doesn't make any sense. Sorry, John. Oscar didn't like the idea, so we can't do it. Oscar never likes my ideas. I want to be a robot! Bye, Vinny. Thanks for all your help today, man. All right, everybody. Catch you later. Oh, boy, am I glad that's over. You meant to that. Yeah, this short seemed to have a lot of weird problems. Well, not as many as the last one. That's true. We didn't have to go to see the guy at the bail bonds place this time. Jimmy? I kind of miss him. Yeah, so now what? Are we gonna have a rap party? Oh, hells yeah! Hey! Hey, Laz, boys! How you doing? Great, how you been? Hey, they can't come in here. Huh? They're droids. They're gonna have to wait outside. We don't serve the kind here. You two better wait out in the speeder. We don't want any trouble. I heartily agree, sir. Come, C-47. I'm telling you, in the 1980s, you had to have a beard in order to be a director. They wouldn't let you into the director's guild with that one. <laughs> Serious. It's quite true, actually. You know what movie I saw the other day was um, An Affair to Remember. I never oh saw my it. god. An Affair to Remember. Seriously, crappiest, sappiest garbage I have ever seen. If you were to take a Norman Rockwell painting 
and shove it in Santa Claus's ass. Oh. This movie is what Santa would be shitting for a week. What would you be doing with that to poor Santa? They produced a lot of movies in those days. And it was a different time. But they came out with some pretty good movies, like uh, Casablanca, Citizen Kane. I mean, there was other films besides... Okay, it was just Citizen Kane, but still, like, it's still a good movie. You've never seen Citizen Kane! Okay. <laughs> Despite the fact that that may be true, Okay, you know what? We've been over this multiple times. Citizen Kane is one of those films that you do not need to see all of it. You just see the cover of it and you automatically know the premise of the film. What was it about? Citizen Kane is about a guy who says Rosebud because Rosebud was his mistress. You think that Rosebud refers to his mistress? Distinctly her butthole. So you think... That rosebud <laughs> is a reference to his mistress's butthole. Makes sense to me. You're such an idiot. John, not every movie is about buttholes. You said the same thing about Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future, none of which are about buttholes. What do you think it's about? You want to know what it was, really? What was it? Tell him. Tell him what it was really about. It was his slay. Dude was fucking his sled? Oh my, my god. No! That's the conclusion you draw? <laughs> Why would Rosebud be the last thing you say unless you're fucking your sled? <laughs> it was a brand name! That'd be like me saying, oh, Mattel right before I die. Hey, have you guys seen Meet the Spartans? That was an amazing movie. Where are we going? Good night, guys. I was thinking that we could go up to LA tomorrow and do some flyering for the production company. Sure, sounds like fun. Oh, it'll be fun, all right. And productive, so fun-ductive. Good news! I got us a map. So, you think any of those famous people will go online and watch any of our films? Who knows? They probably don't even get their own mail. Then again, we can't overlook the all-important butler demographic. True. One thing I really wanted to talk to you about, though, was getting to work on the next project. Okay. I spent the last few months writing the script. I'm pretty happy with it so far. But one thing I think... I think we're gonna need to get a more professional camera for this next one. More professional camera? Yeah, the one we've been using, I mean... It's okay for what we've been using it for, but the fact is, it's an outdated format. It keeps shutting off randomly. The battery keeps catching fire. The lens fell off in my hand the other day, and ever since I let John use it, all the menu screens are in Chinese for some odd reason. Oh well, yeah, won't a pro camera come with a pro price? Yeah, probably pretty expensive. How much you think? Um, I don't know. Well, have you tried out that new electronics store out in Maine? There's a new electronics store on Maine? Yeah, I forget what it's called, but it opened up last week. Well, let's go there now. Wow, I like the name. You think they even know what's funny? 
I highly doubt it. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, uh, where are your camcorders? Camcorder? Mm, over there. Oh my god. I've seen this camera before on the internet, but I never thought I'd see one in person. What, the black one? Looks like an ordinary camera to me. This is no ordinary camera. This is the Orange XL. The most incredible camera in the history of cameras. Incredible resolution, amazing audio. They say it can pick up the performances of actors who aren't even in the movie. Plus it makes Julian fries. I love Julian fries. Who doesn't like Julian fries? Can I help you? Ah! Oh, sorry, scared the crap out of us. Um, can we get a better look at this camera? You can see fine, the case is glass, you can see through glass. Well, yeah, I can see through glass, but could you take it out of the case? No. No? You can see through glass, I require security deposit. Security deposit? How I know you're really gonna buy it. Well, we don't know if we're really gonna buy it, that's why we wanna get a better look at it. No, I don't think so. Look at you, you can't afford this camera. What? Look, you're asking crazy questions. Crazy questions? Don't threaten me. Threaten you? You get out of the store, I call police. What was wrong with that guy? Uh, I don't know, but we should probably run. It looks like he's actually calling the cops. Oh, for God's sakes. Man, I still can't get over that idiot. Yeah, that guy was a complete ass. So do you own any books that uh, aren't about filmmaking? Uh, yeah, in that drawer right there. This is a matchbook. Yeah, but it's not about filmmaking. Touche. Listen, I have an idea. About? About how to get the ultimate camera. Okay. Listen, it's so simple. All we have to do is go back in the middle of the night Climb up on the roof, cut a hole through the roof, rappel down a rope, cut open the glass case, grab the camera, climb it back up the rope, and then we've got it. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty terrible idea. What? No, 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 no. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's the least terrible idea I've ever had. All we have to do is, all we need to do is get some, we just need to get some rope and a saw, maybe some snacks in case we get hungry on our mission. And maybe, ooh, we, we need a helicopter. Where can we get a helicopter this time of night? Oh, that's a ridiculous plan. That's the beauty of it. It's too ridiculous not to work. You're a crazy person. Granted, but my sanity is not what we are talking about here. We're talking about an opportunity. To what, go to jail? No, to get the ultimate camera. Ugh. Seriously, we'd be in and out in like less than an hour. We just go back in the middle of the night. Cut a hole through the roof. Held down a rope. That didn't end well, did it? Well, will you at least go down there with me tonight so we can check the layout? Oh my god, fine. I'm gonna do it just to shut you up because I know you're not actually gonna go through with this. We'll go at like 11. Okay, fine. But I want you to know I'm doing this because you're my brother, and if you weren't my brother, I wouldn't even humor you this much. You're not just my sister. You're a true friend. And you're a dangerously insane human being. True enough.
You're being so ridiculous. Where did you get that? I'm going for it, Ellie. This is it. Manifest destiny. I'm fulfilling our destiny right now. This is it. Taking the bull by the horns. I'm a strong, independent black woman. What? Hey, you guys got any kinds of smoke assist? I'm telling you right now, that was no ordinary homeless man. What? I'll bet you the store owner pays that guy to sleep in the trash behind the building to deter thieves. Well then I guess it works, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, I guess it does. Damn it, I was so close, I could practically taste the camera, I was, I was in the zone. Look Laz. Maybe this is some kind of a uh, sign saying that your ridiculous cat burglar plans just isn't going to work out for getting this camera? Yeah, maybe you're right. I just don't know how else to get one. They're just so damned expensive. Have you ever thought about trying an internet auction site? I'm so excited! <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I can't believe I won that camera for less than half. That stupid electronic store was charging for it. <laughs> it's a slightly older model, but it's still basically the same camera, you know? <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Just to keep your ass on the oh. road, though, will you? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I had to keep really weird hours in order to win one of those auctions. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> <sighs> Go to school, mommy. It's a snow day. Oh my god, my god, my god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta stay awake. Gotta stay awake. Okay. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Gotta stay awake. Uh, let's listen to the radio. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Gotta stay awake. Gotta stay awake. Maybe if I drink this warm milk. No! Oh, we're here. Oh, thank God. So, are you the camera guy? So, you wanna just look at the camera and see if that's uh, what you're looking for? I would love to. All right, get some money right here. Cool, glad this worked out. Probably looks bad to anybody who's driving by. I know, right? Me counting envelope full of hundreds, mysterious black box, <laughs> busy street. <laughs> Man, I thought that cop would never leave us alone. What luck, huh? He could clearly see the camera. Why was he so convinced it was a drug deal? Yeah. And that cavity search took forever. And why did he give us his cell phone number? And why did he keep bringing up his hotel room? Yeah, that was a little odd. Ugh. Well, at least you got your camera. Yeah, but it feels like I might have stolen his watch, if you know what I mean. Ew. But at least I got my camera. So, we gonna test it out tonight? Yeah, we'll get everybody together tonight and do a test. Are we dressed too provocatively? Never mind. Hey, John. Hmm? Refrigerator? Oh. Refrigerator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is a really nice camera, Laz. Isn't it a beauty? Did you get a new watch? Oh, I, well, I, it was, it I... It smells funny. Oh. I, I, I don't understand. I just wrote everything in Cantonese. I don't speak Cantonese. How the hell did I write this? I, 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 I just... Anyway, so what I'm thinking for the first shot for this new camera we should do like a smoky kind of film noir, kind of chiaroscuro kind of thing with like shafts of light and dramatic stuff. Meaning? Where's the smoke machine? In the corner. Can you get it for me? Yeah. Excellent. Hey, Vinny. Yeah? Chiaroscuro. Geez, I think we might have overdone it a little bit with the smoke there. 
Is anybody near like a fan or something? We can blow some of this out of here. I am. Can you turn it on? Uh, yeah, I'm trying, but it's not working. Oh crap. All right. Um, you know what? I think there's actually a vacuum cleaner around here. Hang on. Oh good, it's working. Okay. It seems to be working pretty good, Laz. What? I said it seems to be working pretty good. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh god! Holy crap! Damn it! Oh god! Help me! <laughs> Guys! Help! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's pulling off my weedie! It's stuck on there, Laz! Oh! How? Oh. Ah! Why? What in both Why? hands is Why? 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 Ah! Ah! taking an anatomy course. Hey Laz, it looks like this thing was on the whole time. Uh. No way. <laughs> it was? Yeah, it looks like it recorded the whole thing. Oh my god, let's watch it. Freaking funny. <sighs> All right, you win. It kind of is. Put it online. What? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna put it up online. It's one thing for us to see it and laugh about it. It's another thing if people fucking recognize me on the streets for this thing. No. No one's gonna recognize you. Just put it on the page that doesn't have any of the shorts on it. I mean, seriously, we, we can't even get people to watch the things we want them to see. Well, that's certainly true. Sad, but certainly true. Strictly for our entertainment. No one outside our group is gonna see it. Okay, fine, I'll put it up on my other movie page. Just don't show it to anyone outside of our little group. No one's gonna see it, but let's watch it again. <sighs> Damn vacuum. Hey, Les. Oh, hey. I'm just putting that dumb vacuum video up online. Against my will. Oh, come on, Laz. You gotta have a sense of humor about it. I just wish we could get people to watch the movies that we're proud of. I mean, we work so hard on them, and I don't know. Do you think we're just wasting our time? Honestly, no. Not at all. I mean, everyone that's seen them thinks that they're great. And, you know, that might not be millions of people or thousands of people or even hundreds of people, but it's a lot. And you know, I really think you're talented. I'm not just saying that because I'm your sister. If I didn't think you were talented, I'd tell you. Yeah, I believe you would. Thanks, sis. Don't sweat it. Um, Allie, I think your phone's going off in your purse. But my phone's not in. <laughs> Allie? Why is your purse buzzing? It wasn't. Yes, it was. Okay, you're acting weird. Now I really want to know why your purse is buzzing. I don't think you do. No, I may regret knowing, but I kind of do. Fine, but you wish you hadn't looked. Ew, ew, come on, what the hell? What the hell? Seriously, seriously, seriously. Why do you have that in your purse? You know what? Never mind, I don't want to know. I warned you. Ew! Good night, Laz. Good night, pervert! Seriously! Come on! Just isn't fair. You know, Diane, movies have the ability to make us laugh, cry, and laugh. Yes, I know. This next award goes out to a great filmmaker whose films have been recognized the world over as great films. Yes, I know. 
I am, of course, talking about the award for the greatest film of all time in history ever. Yes, I know. Can I have the envelope, please? Yes, I know. And the winner for the award for the greatest film of all time in history ever on the whole planet is Laszlo Murnau. I'm not dressed for this. I'm, hang on a second. Let me just... Oh my God, this is unexpected. <laughs> oh my. Um, well, uh, first off, I'd like to thank my parents uh, for creating me uh, through uh, sexual intercourse. Um, that was back before I was born. Um, you know what, I can't think of anyone else to thank, so I'm just gonna go ahead and thank fictional characters. Uh, I'd like to thank the Smurfs, uh, the little blue guys, you know, that was running around in their little mushroom land. Uh, and I'd like to thank the Snorks, too, because they were kind of the, the, the underwater version of, of the Smurfs. Um, they were multicultural, though. They had a bunch of different colors, not just blue. Kind of makes you wonder if the Smurfs started out that way, and then they had some kind of like race war, something like that. I don't know, something to think about. Um, anyways, um, thank you. Great. You didn't win anything. You won nothing because you're stupid. That's right. Yes. Yes. It's a bit smelly. It smells a bit strange, but it's a good award. It's good. Yes. That's a fight lady. Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to get us all together tonight so that we could discuss ideas for the next film project. First of all, thank you for putting up the movie last night. Yeah. My cousin thought it was hilarious. You showed it to your cousin? I showed it to my sister and she thought it was hilarious. You showed it to your sister? And I also showed my mom, but she thought it was pretty funny. You showed it to your mom? And my cousin showed it to her roommate, who laughed so hard she almost beat her pants. <laughs> People pee their pants? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought this was just for, for us, for our little group. I thought no one outside our group was gonna see this thing. My family heard me laughing, so what was I gonna do, say no? And I was on the phone with my buddy, and, and he wanted to know what I was laughing so hard about, and, and then, well, his family wanted to know what he was laughing about so hard, and, and you know. Yeah, you know, it's funny, my younger sister, she also had a sleepover, and I, you know, just kinda showed them. My dad's boss came over, and he has this thing for funny videos involving things getting stuck to people's groins. We were having a family reunion, and, uh... So, 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 let me get an idea for how many people have seen this damn thing? Hey, well, it's not like everyone saw it. Nah, not that many. Ah, fine, whatever. I would like to discuss ideas for the next film project. Oh crap, guys, what time is it? Dudes, we're totally missing it. Missing what? Nighttime Pro Feed. Oh, come on, do we really need to watch this? Aw, oh, dude, told I heard Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel are gonna talk about how they're gay lovers. Ah, oh, yeah, nothing hotter than two big buff bald guys getting together. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. We've got a great one for you tonight. I'd like to introduce a new segment on the show tonight. It's called our Internet Idiot of the Day clip. We run those so we don't have to pay the writers. <laughs> so we search the internet and we find funny clips to show you. And I gotta tell you, this first one is a doozy. It features a weird guy in a smoky room getting a little inappropriate with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Let's take a look. What? Wow, it looks like you'll need to lock up your vacuums when that pervert's around, huh? Priceless. Oh my god, Laz, they just played your clip on national television. No, 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 no. 
I can die happy now. I don't believe this! I don't believe this! Everybody on Earth saw that. Why would they do it? What? Did you? Why? <laughs> Why would they show it on the television set? Actually, this could bring some good attention to the film work that we like. Yeah, but I don't want this kind of attention. People are gonna think that that's the kind of movies I make. Oh, come on. No, they're not. They're gonna see that it's an outtake and understand that. You gotta give people some credit. They're not that dumb. Oh my god, they so are! What planet have you been living on? Any publicity is good publicity. This might get people to watch the stuff that we want them to see. Ah! Uh. Do you want us to just get together tomorrow to discuss what to do for the movie? Yes, but we'll have to do it late because I have to go all the way up to LA because it's the only place I can get batteries for the new camera. Alright, we'll meet here tomorrow evening. Fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Dude. Hello, Laszlo. Oh, hey, Mr. Jehoshaphat. Have you seen my mailbox? Saw you on TV last night. Pretty funny stuff. But what I want to know is why in your movie did you put a vacuum on your crotch? I didn't put it there. It just got stuck accidentally. Ah, uh, well, don't you think you're sending a bad message to the kids of America? What? Well, all I know is all the kids are gonna be going around sticking vacuums on their crotch and running around like animals. What the hell are you talking about? Well, I just think you're sending a bad message to the chillin'. Look, it's not my movie. If it were up to me, no one would have even seen it. Well, then why'd you put it on television? I didn't. Look, I gotta go. Oh, okay. I see Mr. Fancy Hollywood TV crotch. Now that you're a big star, you don't have time for little people major what you are. You're insane. You just stay away from my vacuum, you pervert. Ladies and gentlemen, words cannot comprehend the way I feel right now. This toilet, this very toilet, may or may not have been used sometime last week by the legendary actor Tom Cruise. getting a little emotional right now. This may or may not have been the duty throne of the incredibly legendary actor who has played everything from a vampire to a fighter pilot. This is an incredible crab catcher. I may lick it. Hey. Hey, I know you. Uh, no, no, no you don't. Yes, yeah, yes I do, yes I do. You're the, uh, you're the vacuum crotch guy. N no, no I'm not. Yes you are. Hey, can we get a, can we get a quick interview? I, I... <laughs> yes, yeah, hey, come on. Hey, hey, please, just a couple of words. <laughs> hey, come on, just want to be your crotch. pubic hair, or, or at least a fabric swatch from your famous pants. Just give us some of your ear, or some of your blood. Just give us your firstborn child. I'm not the crotch guy. I'm a human being. See? I told you this was gonna be bad. You were on TV again? Yay! No! Not yay! Well, maybe not that many people watch it. Are you kidding? This is the second highest rated show in America! The first highest rated was the one that premiered the stupid crotch video in the first place! Calm down, you'll be fine. This is terrible! All I want is to be known as a serious filmmaker, and now everyone in America is going to know me as the crotch guy. What are my parents going to say when they get back from Lake Titicaca? Somehow I doubt we're proud of you, son, is going to be in there somewhere.
Oh, good morning, Ellie. Hey, Les. How'd you sleep? Oh, uh, potato monkey dishwasher. Oh, somebody knocking at the door. Maybe got a package or something. I'll answer it. Never open the front door again. Never go outside again. Must have been the damn TZM guys. They must have followed me home. What are we gonna do, Laz? Oh, I don't know. Cross guy, cross guy, cross guy. Hey, I know you. Aren't you the guy in the video? No. Do you have a crotch too? No, I don't. Laz, I'm here. Guy. I can be the Dylan you want. Oh yeah? Well, my friend up the street has an uncle who looks like an attorney, so you'll be hearing from him, maybe. Laz, what's going on out there? Oh, the stupid TZM guys must have followed me home. It's like a circus out there. Hello? No, I will not be the spokes crotch for your underwear company. Stop calling me! Laz, that's it. What? You can use some of the money from all the dumb promotional stuff to fund the new projects. Well, it seems to be feeding off of itself at this point. It would be nice to make some money, but I'm only doing the tasteful ads. I saw it on YouTube, man. That guy just. Oh, uh, the crotch guy? Love that guy. Yeah, you gotta check it out. YouTube. The crotch guy. Google that. The crotch guy. Google. It's, uh, it's on the corner of Google and search. Uh, the crotch guy. Well, I did make some money, but I do feel like I might have made the whole crotch guy thing worse. Oh, God, and look at this. The numbers are still completely low for our good movies. That sucks. Geez, now I wish I had put the crotch guy movie up on my main movie page. Oh lord, and look at this, my email box is totally filled with all these weird promotional offers. Alright, what's that one? Which one? Go back up. There. That one sounds pretty good. They want to put you on a reality show. Ugh, sounds pretty lame to me. You can go on there and mention the good short films. I guess, but I hate those shows so much. Well look, you don't even know what kind of show they want you to do. Maybe it could be pretty cool. But they might just follow you around, watch you make films, and then people will see what you really do. Well, I guess I could at least go down there and hear what they have to say. And hey, it would be nice to get away from those people that are living on the front lawn for a while. Yeah, and if you're gone long enough, maybe they might get bored and leave. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. God, speaking of which, I gotta go get the mail. It's gonna be on the front page of every tabloid in town. Crotch guy gets his mail. I'm surprised they pushed that story about you breaking a shoelace back to page three. Yeah, I know that was front page stuff, wasn't it? Let's get this over with. Hmm, I'll trade you the crotch guy's cable bill for his electric bill. Okay. This one will look good on eBay. Hey, isn't that him coming down? Sign my vacuum! Sign my crotch! Sign my ignorance! Leave me alone! I'd be the Dylan you want. How dare you make fun of this man? What? This man is tired of being mocked. That's true, I am tired of being mocked. He is tired of your stupidity and your ignorance. 
That's true. Those are two things I am totally tired of. We represent the VFA. They represent the VFA. The Vacuum Fuckers Association. Yeah. The vacuum. Yeah. Woo! God damn yeah. it. VFA. That's right. We, yeah. people who fuck vacuums, are tired of being mocked right and belittled. These people do not represent me. We do represent yes. him. Backers right, we're forever. Here for you. Bring your lovers out of the closet. Yeah, Bring your lovers out of the closet. First, thanks for meeting with us. We have a number of ideas, and we would like to know if you are interested in any of them. Okay, go for it. First off, we have. Basically, we go and find people that are having troubles with their vacuums. They've tried everything, right? And we try to fix them. Well, actually, I don't, I don't actually know anything about vacuums. I mean, I got one stuck to my crotch, so obviously I don't know anything about them. Well, we do have an idea for one that we think that you would like. Dancing with the Stars Vacuums. We partner you up with the vacuum cleaners of celebrities. And we teach them how to dance. No, no, do you guys have anything that doesn't have vacuum cleaners in it? Um, I think so. I think so. Oh, uh, here we go. Internet Celebrity Challenge. It's loosely based on that short story, The Most Dangerous Game. And if you survive round one, you automatically get a chance to be re-hunted in rounds two and three. No! I don't want to be hunted for sport! You don't? No! Okay. Oh, that's weird. But... Right, okay. Yeah. To each his own. Go oh, we have another idea. Hanging with OJ. Oh, dear. God, no! Okay, okay. We'll put that in the maybe pile. So what happened with that meeting? Oh my god! All of their ideas were terrible. Like, I'm talking about amazingly terrible. Really? All of them? All they wanted me to do was hang out with murderers for ratings! Well, it is TV. What the hell good is being famous if you can't be famous for something that you're at least slightly proud of? Laz, phone's for you. I'm not here! You should really take this. It's the producers of your least favorite talk show. They want you to be on it. Why the hell would I want to be on that talk show? So they could make crotch jokes until I vomit? No, so that you would have an opportunity to mention the good films on TV. But I hate that show so much. He only has idiots on that show. Well, you could be the first non-idiot. Yeah, the first one ever. Like a trailblazer, like Rosa Parks. Well, I am a lot like Rosa Parks. That's yeah, a spirit. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go on that stupid talk show just like Rosa Parks did. So, who's Rosa Parks? Um, I think she's that deaf, dumb, and blind chick that drove a bus? Hello? Yeah, guess what? I am gonna be on your dumbass talk show, because I'm just like Rosa Parks. What do you mean, who's Rosa Parks? The little Jewish girl hid from the Nazis? What, Harriet Tubman? No, she played Wheezy on the Jeffersons. Yeah, yeah, that was a good show. All right, well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on your dumbass talk show. Okay, I'll, I'll see you then. All right, well, lo love you too. Okay, oh, bye, bye bye You can do this, 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 you can do this. You're not the crotch guy, you're not the crotch guy, you're not the crotch guy. Hey, crotch guy. That's me. We need to get you in wardrobe, ASAP. Wardrobe? What are you talking about? I got it. And now, Nighttime Pro Feed with Truman B. All right, everybody, we've got a great show for you, so let's jump right into it. My first guest has recently become an internet sensation for his hilarious video, which premiered right here on the show. Why? Put both Why? hands in this. Why? Now, to help me introduce him, please welcome the Dust Bunnies. And now, the man whose crotch you love to watch get sucked, please welcome Laszlo Murnau. Yeah. 
Well, great to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you too. Go ahead and pet the pig. Yeah, I'd rather not pet the pig. Pet the pig. <laughs> All right, so let's first off take another look at that video that made you an internet sensation. Oh, Lord. Oh, how? Oh, how? Why? What in both hands is this? Why? 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 Uh, 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 uh. Well, I guess some vacuums you date, but that one you marry. You know, I didn't know Trojan made vacuum bags. I, I gotta say, did you have to buy it a dirty floor first? I gotta ask out of curiosity, did the carpets match the drapes? Well, well, at least you know she was clean. Okay, if there was a maid involved, would that technically be a menage a trois? Well, well. At least it wasn't a blender, right? Yeah, that's uh, really funny. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be like your regular guests and talk about my boob job or my drug problem or my parents' money. But what I'd really like to talk about is the other films that we have up online. Oh, what do you mean? Like uh, two vacuums, one toaster? No, the other films up online are actually the ones we're proud of. The crotch one was just an outtake. If you just go to www.laslomernow.com, you can watch our other movies. Oh, do they uh, have any crotches? No. Well, that's kind of depressing. To cheer everyone up, here's a picture of Kim Kardashian and I drew. <laughs> well, folks, I just want to thank my guest, the crotch guy, and have a good night, everyone. Hey, everybody. You suck. Okay, well, at least I know I'm not dreaming this time. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> hey, blue dinosaur. I thought I wasn't dreaming this time because they're all like, blah. But, uh, I guess I am. <laughs> uh, so, what have you been up to? You been, been keeping busy? Yeah, I've been busy. Yeah, yeah, me too. I had a whole crotch thing. It was, it was, it was unpleasant, but yeah. Well, you know. Oh crap, the phone's ringing. Well, I guess I'm gonna wake up now. Gotta answer the phone, could be something important. I don't know, I may be back later. I, I seem to dream about this friggin' garage an awful lot, so. All right, well, you take it easy, blue dinosaur, okay? Keep it cool, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wake up now. Uh, hello? Is this Laszlo Murnau? Speaking. This is Jamison McGillicuddy. I work for Septillion Dollar Productions and I saw your short films online. I was impressed. And don't worry, I'm not talking about the cross one. I watched your other films and I must say, nice work. Wow, seriously? Yes, sir. I just, I honestly thought nobody would ever take me seriously because that damn crotch video got so famous. Well, you know that old Hollywood saying, the only bad publicity is an obituary? In my experience, it really is true. In fact, in Hollywood, an obituary is actually sometimes the best publicity. You're not even in the ground yet, and they want to sign a deal to get the rights to your corpse. <laughs> but... More importantly, we really do want to fund your next project, so come to my office on Monday and we'll work out all the details. All right. Thanks. I'll see you there. Bye. Click. Ah, success. And not a loose end in sight. Laz, it's your dad. We're home from Lake Titicaca. Who are all these people on the front lawn? Crap. <laughs> <laughs>